Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see what's going on in your love life. How are you doing, Virgo? I hope you guys are doing awesome. Okay, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of the month of April 2021 in regards to amor, in regards to love. Okay, let's see what's going on with you guys. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here we go. Virgo, your first card here is the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is looking for higher commitment. This is about uh, long-term longevity. This is about planning. This is about uh, finding a person that you can genuinely walk towards building or wanting to build a strong foundation. Very powerful card there. What's coming towards you? The Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is representing the person or partner that you're currently dealing with. This is an offering. So I see someone coming towards you. Uh, could be a Taurus, could be another Earth energy like you, Taurus Capricorn. Um, I feel that you may have been on, in a stagnant situation or feeling like there wasn't any movement. That's quickly going to be changing. I see like there is some type of clarity that they're getting. There's some type of understanding or deeper knowledge that's coming through for them where they're going to know or feel like it's time to step up to the plate and they're definitely going to be doing that as I do see them coming towards you for some type of like I said elevation some type of commitment some type of offering for some of you guys this could represent commitment and engagement coming through now the situation itself is the six of cups so I feel that this is passing energy um the reason I say that is because your card is the Hierophant and their card is the Ace of Pentacles. So that's talking about <clears throat> elevation, clarity, understanding. With the Seven of Cups, that could have been the reason why there was stagnation. It could have been that their energy was scattered. It could have been that the person that you were dealing with had multiple options. Or this could have been you, um, Virgo, that you were dealing with multiple people. Um, but finally, getting the clarity or understanding of what it is that you want and making things happen. I see them making a decision. I see them coming to an understanding that you are their person. Now, the next card here is the King of Wands. King of Wands could represent fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. Doesn't have to be their sun sign. This is just a person that is assertive. So again, I feel that in the past, there could have been some type of confusion, perhaps some type of fear of commitment. Um, now, the advice here is the king of wands. This is being confident in yourself, knowing your worth. This is about not hesitating to demand the type of respect that you want. Um, this is about speaking up. If in the past you felt like uh, you were an option or like they were making you feel like you didn't know where you stand with them, there is a need for you to speak up. There is a need for you to be honest and transparent about what you want in a relationship. This is assertiveness. This is you taking action, uh, speaking or demanding what it is that you want to make happen or what it is that you know you deserve. So this is very assertive type of energy. As you guys can see here, this is assertiveness, the Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Wands, scattered energy in the past. So again, I feel someone stepping up. Someone is definitely going to be, th this could be also if for those of you guys that are dealing with a, a uh, person that perhaps didn't really, you know, want to fully invest in the relationship, there's going to be like a quick turnaround. It's almost a feeling of like a 180 change. Um, really like them, like I said, being assertive and knowing that you are the person for them. They know that you are the one that's for them. The three of cups here, celebratory type of energy. So yeah, the final outcome here, the likelihood of this situation is some type of celebration based off of some type of offering. And like I said, for some of you guys, it could represent that your person is getting ready to step up. Uh, your person is getting ready to commit to this relationship or to fully invest in this relationship. Uh, if you're dealing with someone right now, but there's no commitment, there's no title, that's quickly gonna be changing uh, because they're choosing and they're choosing you. Um, so again, very, very positive energy here. Um, I do want to mention 
for those of you guys that felt like or you it could have been you the one that was dealing with multiple people i feel that you're definitely going to be deciding for a taurus or a fire energy um i feel very strongly sagittarius um but nonetheless i do feel that you're making the right decision virgo i feel that uh there's going to be cause for celebration by the end of this month or the beginning of may um, it's almost like things are synchronizing, things are unfolding to the best of your interest. Um, if in the past there was stagnation, there was like a feeling of inconsistency, that's going to be changing. It's like, I don't know why I'm feeling like the person that you're dealing with or have been dealing with was very unsure in the past, but it's like now with the planet alignments, uh, with Venus going into Taurus, uh, they're definitely making decisions and it's decisions that are going to be for the long term as Taurus is an earth energy. So again, um, something that is going to be built on a strong foundation. So very beautiful, beautiful energy here. Let's pull out a card from the Oracle, the love Oracle, I should say. And we have it flying out. Stand by me. Yeah, so I feel that for those of you guys that chose... Um, Sorry, the nachos. For those of you guys that are dealing with a situation where there felt like there was stagnation, like things weren't progressing, I feel you've been dealing with this type of energy for quite a while. I feel that your person is someone that you've been waiting for, for them to step up for quite a while. Uh, if you're currently not dealing with anyone, what they're saying is that commitment is coming towards you. And it's coming towards you uh, with an individual that is very assertive, they know exactly what it is that they want, and they're going to tell you it is you the one that they want. Stand by me as a representation of through thick and thin. So that is the ultimate goal, I believe, when it comes to relationships. It's finding someone that's going to hold you down in the worst of times, and that is going to continue applauding in the highest form or when you are at your highest peak. So definitely very beautiful energy, Virgo. So I wish you guys the very best. I hope that uh, this gives you some type of clarity and insight. And we'll be seeing each other soon. Till then, take care. Bye.